Thank you for joining us today for another great episode of Clean Money. Today, we continue our series, Tales from the Dark Side of Real Estate, where we share some of the more interesting stories of our adventures in this business. And Jesse, we've had a lot of adventures in this business so far. Uh, These stories are the kind that are rarely shared. You never hear about these on TikTok, Instagram, uh, unless it's a before and after. Um, But as you know, it's not all sunshine, rainbows, and unicorns. Uh, These will be short episodes, and I hope you enjoy listening. Today, um, speaking of unicorns, we have Tales of the Pigs. And uh, ironically, we've, we've uh, we've had pigs at some of our properties before, like pet yes. pigs. Yes, we have. We've had an issue with pigs at a lot of our properties. I've, we've gone out to one, or I've gone out and found a pig just rummaging through the fence and just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> pigs. So <laughs> we, we got, got a tenant who had a pet pig who kept escaping. It's a little skate artist. Yeah, a little. This is a big old pot belly, full size pig. Yeah. 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 Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, chickens. We've had lots of chickens. Chickens are fine. I'm okay with chickens. Um, but it's just mobile home parks are the best. Like you get the most <laughs> incredible stories from mobile home parks, particularly when you buy old distressed mobile home parks, not the fancy, you know, fancy ones in, I don't know, Arizona and California and, and Florida. But yeah. So uh, speaking of pigs, you have a story, a recent story of pigs. Um, so tell us about that. Yeah. So this is a, uh, when they say you're going to be a business owner, you're going to be an investor. They don't tell you that you're going to be dealing with weird issues like pigs, right? <laughs> like how do you handle, where's the training, the HR training on how to handle when somebody has a problem with pigs where, so Story is we do investor calls every week. We have our key investors, us as asset managers, and our on-site manager hop on a call. Well, uh, one of our new managers, you know, she's doing great. She's killing it. Uh, and she messaged me, hey, I am not going to be able to make it. Uh, my sp- spouse, they they ran over 13 pigs. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what yeah. do you mean they ran over 13 pigs? He said, yeah. Uh, evidently they drive a semi, I'm going to share the video here and they ran over and for those who can't see, it's this middle of the night. This is a highway in Oklahoma. So this is a major road and you'll see very quickly here that there is about right there. Boom. Let's see if I can get that back a little bit and pause it right when we see them. But there's a whole horde. What, what's, what's a plural pig? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure, but maybe uh, is is Pigathon? Pigathon? Yeah, I think that's yeah. right, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're highly intelligent here. <laughs> no, I think it's, yeah. it's, it's a herd, right? Yeah, a herd? A herd of pigs? A herd of pigs? I don't know. Whatever. It's a murder now. I guess like a mur- murder of crows, but a murder of pigs right now. But yeah, yeah. so this semi, and the video... Didn't slow down at all. The, the semi did not slow down at all. It just goes right through. And there's a little bit of swerving, but I really think that's just them freaking out a little bit and it kept going. Um, on a side note, though, we we're doing a barbecue at this property. So <laughs> the timing could not have been better. <laughs> uh, we are, in fact, having a welcome party because we just totally – redeveloped this property, brought in a whole bunch of brand new homes and we're having a, just a, a big barbecue. There will not be, none of those pigs will be at that barbecue for sure. I'm amazed. Um, we're doing sausage though. <laughs> we are doing sausage. There will be rots. Um, yeah. So uh, for one, I'm amazed that he, um, obviously he, he, you know, you could tell the, the, the semi gets out of control a little bit. Uh, I can imagine it's, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of flesh that he just hit. And, oh, yeah. Um, un- unfortunate for the pigs who were just seemed like they were hanging out in the middle of the highway, um, which, you know, it's like what you tell your kids when you're mad at them. Why don't you go hang out on the, the highway? But I'm just kidding. <laughs> Never tell your kids that. Don't do that. 
unless you got insurance, uh, like life insurance on your kids, that's also a great thing to do. But the um, all in all, I'm just good humor, folks. Please do not get mad at us. Yeah. The, <laughs> Don't go run over some pigs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he, he's able to. I mean, he doesn't lose control, which is fantastic. If you if you didn't see that video. Um, you know, check out a, a YouTube channel, Walmart Capital. You can see all the clean money podcasts on there. Check out this video. Um, and you can see like you, he's driving at night. You can't see anything. And all of a sudden there's a whole lot of pigs there. And he was probably going 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. And there's no way he could have done anything other than hit the pigs. Yeah. And it's a highway. So maybe 70, honestly, it's probably cruising around. And this is a major highway in in Oklahoma. Yes, you watch the video, you're going to say, Jesse, that's two lanes. That's a major highway in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. In Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also, it's just interesting because as a business owner, there's always some random thing that pops in right, for your employees that how do you manage this now? Right. And also, hey, they live on site. So now, the, his, their car, their their semi is down for the count for a little bit, so they're not going to be able to pay for a little bit. So it's just a constant, constant chaos of things going on where you got to manage. And sometimes life throws thirteen pigs at you know. Yeah, talking about a curveball, thirteen <laughs> pigs the night, the night of living pigs. The um, which is it's interesting, right? And, you have humans, your, your property's full of humans and they all have lives and things happen. Um, and would you say, Oh my goodness, you just, you know, I don't care that you ran into pigs and now you can't pay rent. You're getting evicted, you know, no, no good, reasonable, uh, um, you, you know, landlords going to do that. They're going to try and work with them. Uh, particularly this is Joanna. She's fantastic. Like, She's a great uh, manager. They're young. They're working hard. It's fantastic. Hungry. Great job. Hungry. Um, we couldn't have asked for a better site manager for that property. And now yeah. the semi, semi, I don't know if he's parking that thing on the property, like the front end, but it's got to smell like bacon or something, right? <laughs> Definitely cook something in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, probably. The real hero here is uh, Oklahoma uh, Highway Patrol. Because I asked, I was like, hey, do you have any pictures of the carnage. I want, I want to see all the pictures, you know, they said, no, they, they came and picked up all the pigs and everything else pretty quickly. So shout out to Oklahoma highway patrol. Yeah. That's fantastic. Those guys. <laughs> you like dead animals. That's the job for you for sure. That's the job for you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, hope, hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, this episode and just a, rem- a reminder that, uh, humans matter. The people who live and reside and work for us, of course, matter. And life throws curveballs and sometimes life throws pigs at you. And, you know, we just keep going, right? And just, just keep going. <laughs> keep trucking. <laughs> if you <laughs> keep trucking. <laughs> right, the pigs, guys. Uh, yeah. So there's been enough bad jokes already in this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed If you If you enjoyed it. Give us a five-star rating, like, subscribe. That helps us know that you guys care and that we want to produce more of these. We have so many stories to tell. And um, if you have some stories of your own and you would like to share them, just send us a message. Find us on Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube. Send us a message and say, hey, I've got a story to tell. And we can invite you on the show to share your story as well. Um, And... Yeah. Have a great day. Well, thanks for joining.